Jose Mourinho is a highly decorated manager, winning 27 trophies across his career so far. I'm a, I think I'm a special one. But if we restarted his career back at Benfica, would he be able to win even more trophies than he did in real life? So that's exactly what I've done. Mourinho never won a trophy with Benfica in real life. And so far, he hasn't won one in game either, finishing two points behind Porto in the league and then losing the Portuguese Cup final to Braga. He's twice the runner-up in season one, and it continues in season two. They're way off the title fight. But this time, he does manage to win his first trophy in the cup, beating Sporting. Surely that is something to build on for season three. Well, instead, Benfica drop down to third place in the league and lose the cup final on penalties. And guess what? More heartbreak is to come, as the following season, Benfica finished three points behind Porto in the league. Although he does win a second trophy by winning the cup again. Jose so far has been so unlucky. He's lost the league title twice by three points or less, and he's also suffered two losses in cup finals. I really hope this doesn't set the trend for the rest of his career. Now, so far we haven't spoken about Benfica in the Champions League, and that's because they've been rubbish, getting knocked out in the round of 16 every single season. Apart from this season, where they get knocked out in the round of 16 of the Europa League instead. But to some clubs, that doesn't matter, and he clearly has impressed, because he was soon made the manager of RB Leipzig, before being sacked eight months later, as Leipzig finished in a lowly fourth place. Wait, <laughs> what? They sacked him after a 1-0 loss to Schalke, which dropped them to seventh in the table. That feels incredibly harsh. I think Jose has been done really dirty here. It takes almost two years for Jose to get a new job, but it's Mines in the Bundesliga who snap him up mid-season, and he guides them to a very respectable seventh place in the table. But he does something even more impressive. He wins them their second ever DFB Pokal, beating Dortmund in the final. They actually won their first ever one in 2025 when they beat Borussia Mönchengladbach. We might be a long way off the 27 trophies Mourinho's got in real life, but we are starting to make some good progress. The following season, he loses his third cup final, if you count the Super Cup as a final, but he improved the team to fifth place in the table, enough for Jose to come third in the German Players Manager of the Year. Luckily, they weren't judging him on the Europa League. However, the following season, Mainz fall to ninth in the Bundesliga and suffer an early exit from the Europa League, which certainly has put pressure on Jose. He clings on to the job in his 10th season as a manager as Mainz finish in seventh, but he loses his fourth cup final in the DFB Pokal. I'm going to keep tally of how many cup finals he loses because this is feeling like it's going to be some sort of record. In 2033, Mines drop back down to 10th place and they suffer yet another early exit from the Europa League. I think he's spending too much time at Mines. If he wants to beat the 27 trophies he got in real life, he has to move away soon. He's 48 now. Maybe he's got another 15 or 20 years in him. He has to win multiple trophies a season now to catch up to his real life tally. So lucky for him, the following season, he gets sacked for poor league position. They were only 12th when they sacked him, to be fair. I think ideally he needs to get away from Germany. I mean, his attributes are absolutely insane. Surely he could go to any other club in Europe or wait 18 months for the Wolfsburg job to come up. Jose man, come on, we needed to go somewhere else than Germany. He does no better than he did at Mainz, finishing in seventh place. And guess what? He loses his fifth cup final in the DFB Pokal. 2036 is another Mourinho special as Wolfsburg finish in eighth place, but they do have a conference league spot this time around. They have a great run in the league phase, finishing in third place to go straight through to the round of 16, where they beat an old rival of his 4-3. Incredibly, this is the first time Mourinho's actually got past the round of 16 in any European competition. Sparta Prague were no match for Wolfsburg in the quarterfinals, and they comfortably beat Athletic Club in the semis. Our man has made it to the Conference League final. Well, obviously he loses it because he's a specialist at losing cup finals. That's now number six. Thankfully, Jose saw that as a good time to leave and joined Sevilla in August a team who know how to win European finals. He had a superb league campaign coming in fourth place, but only mediocre performances in the cup and in Europe. 
Obviously, he didn't have the full summer to build his own team, so next season I'm expecting some massive improvements. Or he finishes lower in the league with less points, has a laughable cup run, and Champions League campaign. Jose, you are so frustrating, but the only way you can get more frustrating is if you go back to Germany. Oh, for fuck. To be fair, he does get Stuttgart into the Champions League, so actually it's a pretty good season. In 2040, he improves them to fourth place. And actually, he gets very unlucky in the Champions League quarterfinals, losing to Arsenal. It looks like things are going in the right direction for Jose, but before he could start his third season, he leaves to become the Portugal manager instead. The last manager was sacked after losing to Italy in the European Championships quarterfinal, but I like to think it was actually because of the draw to Scotland. Jose is tasked with taking the team to a 2042 World Cup, which they qualify for by winning every single game. However, someone didn't tell Jose he had to win all of the games at the World Cup too. It looks like he walked before he was pushed, and just two weeks later, he took the Udinese job, finishing a very respectable fourth place in Serie A, although they have finished there the past four seasons in a row. He also makes it to the Coppa Italia final where, you guessed it, they lost on penalties. That is now the seventh cup final Jose has lost. Following that cup final loss, he loses Udinese to join Villarreal. They miss out on the top four by two points, but once again he shows how good he is in cup situations, guiding them to the Copa del Rey final. Will Jose A win the final, or B take his eighth cup final loss? If you guessed A, you lose, just like Jose did again. This is actually just beyond a joke now, but maybe he'll finally start winning soon, as at the end of the season, Real Madrid offer him the job, and he immediately wins them the Spanish Super Cup. Actually, I have no idea how many trophies he's actually won, I've just been counting the cup final losses. But he can't win La Liga, finishing 10 points off title winners Barcelona. But even more embarrassing is losing to Southampton on the Champions League round of 16. Luckily, he was able to keep his job and he repaid the board by finally winning his first domestic title by winning La Liga. Jose, I always had faith in you, now you can start to build a dynasty at Real Madrid. Or leave the club two weeks after winning the title to join Man City. Although he is moving to Man City, right? So that surely has to be a guaranteed title. Or somehow you let Everton win the Premier League, who also beat his former club Real Madrid in that season's Champions League final. To be fair, Man City are rebuilding after finishing 11th the season before Mourinho joined. But a rebuild will take time, as he finished sixth place the following season in what was actually a very tight title fight. However, Things only get worse as Man City drop down to 8th place in the Premier League and get knocked out of the quarterfinal of the Europa League. But before he gets sacked, he decides to walk away, joining Southampton instead, who actually came third last season. Could he maybe take this team to win a Premier League title? Well, no, not quite. They finished in 7th place, but it was still ahead of Man City, and he beat them again in his second season although fighting over 10th place isn't really ideal. He did have a good run in the Europa League, eventually losing in the semi-finals to Chelsea. The following season, with no European football, he could focus on the league, and he does improve as Southampton end up in sixth place, just missing out on the Champions League. Once again, they're back in the Europa League, and once again, they lose in the semi-final, this time to his former club, Wolfsburg. But they'll have another shot next season after finishing in seventh place. But once again, he loses in the semi-finals. That's now three in a row he's lost. And it's also another seventh place finish in the Premier League. If anything, he is consistent. So it's now 2055 and it's all or nothing for Jose Mourinho as he announces that 70 years old, he will retire at the end of the season. I mean, we know that they're not good enough to win the Premier League as they come in sixth place, but could he, for one final time, win a trophy in the Europa League? They win every single game in the league phase, giving them a kind draw in the round of 16 to Polish side Gornik, which they win. They blow past Torino in the quarterfinals to make a fourth semi-final in four years. But this time, they win it, beating PSG 5-3 on aggregate after being 3-2 down in the first leg. But let's not get too excited. I mean, this is a man who has lost eight cup finals across his career. 
He's only gone and done it. Mourinho wins Southampton, the Europa League, in his final ever game as a manager. But how different do you think his career would have been if he'd actually won those eight cup finals that he lost, or even those two Portuguese leagues that he just missed out on right at the start of his career? Let me know down in the comment section right below that subscribe button. If he'd actually won those trophies early on, he might have been given better jobs throughout his career to then win more trophies and compete with Harry Redknapp which out of context I do realise sounds very bizarre. But back when Jose Mourinho was the manager of Man City, Harry Redknapp was the manager of Newcastle United. And if you want to find out if he had a more successful career than Jose Mourinho, then you can watch that video on screen right now.